Hi everyone, this is Brandon Burgess, and today we're going to go over the Hydrorain HRC100 controller. Now, uh, this comes in four, nine, and twelve stations. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what we got here. Okay, so you got your key, your mounting peg, and your wire connectors. We got our actual unit here. And of course, we got the user's manual. Okay, so that's it. So I mounted one here and I connected some valves. Um, so we're going to go over how to program it, some of the options that it has, as well as um, setting the time and date. And we'll show you how really easy and fast, because again, Hydrorain, their motto is built for speed. So we do everything fast. So this is a really good controller, you know, very simple, very fast setup, fast turnaround, and fast installation. Okay, so I made sure I plugged this in, so I know I have power here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and open this up and start programming this. Okay, so now I opened up the hatch. So you can see the display here. So this mark right here indicates what on, we're on the dial that I'm at. So I'm on the off position, so we see our screen says off, right? So just taking a look at it, what do we see? We see a clear, enter manual, um, we have off, run, set clock, date, start time, run time, how often, budget. So we're gonna go through all those. Uh, program up here, rain delay, and then we have test cycles and that's how we're gonna go up and down. Okay, so when I turn it to run, that's if I have it programmed. So since we just turned this on and just opened it up, I'm gonna go ahead and set the time, the time right now. So this cycles me down. Right here we're at 10, 16. Okay, so now I turn it and I don't wanna set the date. 2014, 12, 18, okay, start time. So start time is going to be when do I want my irrigation valves and my sprinklers to turn on. So normally we want that to be in the morning, I usually do about depending on how many you have, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, we're, we're gonna go with four o'clock in the morning, okay? And as you can see, as I go up or down, it moves in th uh, 15 minute increments, right? So then I'm in the AM, make sure that you're on the AM, so you wanna water in the morning. We don't really wanna water during daylight times. So we look here, so we're good there. And again, this is gonna be on program A. There's three programs, there's an A, a B, and a C. We're just gonna do A, run time. So this is gonna be how long do I want my sprinklers on? So we got a maximum of 240 minutes. Um, that's a pretty absurd amount of time. I don't think we would ever really use that. So I'm gonna go up, you know, I'm gonna put 12 minutes, right? Once I click, now see the station here moved to two. So now this is my second valve. So I have three here, so we'll just go ahead and Put more minutes on there. Number three, we'll go ahead and put eight minutes. Right, so this is all just randomized numbers. Now, how often? So how often is what day of the week? There's also an option on here, which is odd or even days. Right, so once I hit the plus button, so I scroll with this, as you can see, it goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So once you hit this button right here, it selects it and it'll indicate it by circling. So now I put it on for Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, right? So that's how, how often it is. Now budgeting, this is our water budget feature. So this really, really comes in handy if you have 12 stations and you know as the weather changes, 
you know, we want to water more or less depending on the weather. When it's hot, we water more. When it's cold, we water less. So instead of going in and changing every single start time, the water budget feature really comes into play. So at 100%, there's no change. So I had my 12 minutes on two of them, my eight minutes. Now if I see that it's, you know, we got a, like a real heat wave coming and I know, hey, you know what, I'm, my plants are gonna stress. I need to water a little bit more. You go ahead and up your water budget and this goes in increments of 10 to 150. So I'll water, you know, not just my 12 minutes, I'm gonna water 12 plus a six minutes. So that means that does 50% longer run times. And when I do that, it's gonna do 50% longer run times on all my valves, all right? So this is a great feature. So off is off when, so now I set it to run. Everything's ready and this thing's ready to work. If you wanna manually see if you turn on your valves, you hit manual. You wanna scroll over, so if I leave it here, it's gonna turn them all on. So as you can see, I got one, one on right now. You scroll this over to turn your valves on. Right, so since I only had the three, now I return there. To reset, you wanna press it here. For rain delay, you can hook a rain sensor up to this. And, um, and that's pretty much it as far as the programming. So with program A is set, there's also options of B and C. You can have different start times, different run times, different days of the week, however you wanna set this up. So again, this is a very good clock, really fast, really simple. Again, Hydro Rain is built for speed, and this is no exception. So now let's go ahead and, and see what's behind the panel. So again, that flips open. We have our ribbon right here. This connects my power to my panel. Now we look here. So here I have my valves wired up. We have our common. There's also a slot if you have a pump. And this is a four station, so there's only four slots here. We have sensors, um, 24 volts out. So my sensor, this could be my rain sensor. Um, we would hook up to this. And if I do have a rain sensor, I wanna click it to the on position. So a rain sensor, when it senses moisture, it'll shut the clock and it'll suspend irrigation because we no longer need to irrigate. So it's a great water saving um, device that we can hook up with this. So again, so that's pretty much it for the inside. So to wrap it up, this is, like I said before, this is a very easy, programmable, a quick setup. As you can see, we set this up. It took us, you know, a whole five minutes to do it while we're explaining it. Um, it's great for anyone. Consumers can understand how to do this one. It's not too fancy. And um, that, that's going to wrap it up here for the HRC 100 controller.